This is Stock Day. News and interviews from the microcap world. Public information on the OTC, pink sheets, and microcap stocks from around the world. With your host, Everett Jolly. On today's show, we have a very exciting guest. His name is Keith Alexander. He is the CEO and chairman of the board of Nevis Capital Corporation. They trade on the OTC on the pink sheets. O-C-E-E is the symbol. Keith, welcome to the show and thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me, Everett. I appreciate the opportunity. Now, I understand you guys are a, ho- I, I understand you guys are a holding company. And for myself and listeners, explain to us what's the difference of being a, just a regular OTC company compared to being a holding company. I think a good definition would be a holding company would be a company that owns other companies' outstanding stock or a portion thereof. The term usually refers to a company that does not produce goods or services itself. Rather, its purpose is to own shares in other companies to form a corporate group. I think a good example would be and I hate to use the term, but like the Berkshire Hathaways, or that is considered a holding company. Yes, he's acquired many companies into his holding companies. Yep. I, I understand that. Yes, sir. Now, right now, right now, Nevis Capital Corp., you guys are a diversified international holding company. You have investments in oil, gas, food, uh, mobile media businesses. Uh, can you give us what you've been doing with these businesses and how that makes a, a very nice attraction to people who want to invest into your company? Yes. Uh, originally, we started out, we were going to try to do like oil and gas properties and companies to into this deal. And we got to looking. Uh, we we tried a couple other little ventures. But basically, had we stayed devoted to one industry, as in the oil and gas, we would have probably been taking a pretty good bath right now and the valuation of our, our company just because of the price of oil and natural gas. So the concept was let's diversify ourselves. Let's get a little interest in several different industries, and it may help protect our shareholders from taking such, you know, having such highs and lows in their stock to see a good uh, continuous steady growth. So that was the concept we went on, and we have since, acquired interest in two or three small companies. Uh, nothing grand right now, but we're on the road to, to get to that position. Um, we've got Boost P, which is a mobile media that we've got 25% of. We've got Van Ecuador Imports that uh, imports and sells canned tunas and tuna steaks, and we've got 25% interest in it. And we've got several other ventures that in the next few weeks we should be making some announcements we've got interest still in our oil and gas so it's nothing you really brag about at uh, present but I feel like if we can still keep a basis in that we can see some growth we've got other food industry uh, companies that we're looking at we feel like within the next 30 to 45 days we'll have some announcements on those and, and I think it will show people that if we diversify ourselves into different areas that uh, no matter what's up or what's down, we will have some representation in an industry that's in a good position, and, and that's where we want to go. I, I see. Can, can you tell us if any of these companies are producing incomes? At Van Ecuador, the import company, is producing income right now. We've got several uh, contracts that are pending, which will probably double our revenue over the next year. Uh, Boost P is a new concept that I say it's not a concept. It's following after the the WhatsApp that I believe Facebook bought last year. Uh, we've got in excess of 10 million subscribers right now. Uh, I think the total number of subscribers will determine the valuation of the stock. But we should start seeing revenue off of it probably within the next 60 days. Um, because our subscriber base is getting up large enough that we can um, start seeing some positive results. Outstanding. Uh, tell me this, how will this concept uh, benefit future companies uh, that will be acquired? 
Well, part of our concept was to bring companies in that were having problems possibly raising the necessary capital for growth and expansion. And we felt like being a public vehicle to where uh, everybody can see the value of the stock, it may open some doors for us to be able to help raise the necessary capital for their growth. Uh, we'll go back to the Van Equitable Group. Uh, their next uh, step of progression would be the acquisition of a, another processing plant. Uh, by themselves, they're having difficulty, but with the public vehicle and, and a security that, that everybody can see the value of it, it makes it a little simpler for us to go out in the market and raise the necessary capital for their growth. Same thing with the Boost P. We we did that. It gave them a good valuation in the balance sheet to where it attracts people. It starts attracting volume. Um, I, I just see that the companies can utilize, leverage what we have into their growth means. If in the future we decide that maybe these companies need to be back out on their own, it gives us an opportunity to help them go into their own vehicle and, and continue their growth. It also gives us an opportunity to still own some interest in it and, and realize um, our equity growth. Absolutely. You know, I can understand that concept. There's many capital companies that only want to deal with publicly traded companies. Or they're more uh, easy to access funds with a uh, publicly traded vehicle than a privately owned, owned company. One of the questions I, I have for your corporation, do you guys only acquire a minority position in uh, future acquisitions, or will you ever acquire the whole owned uh, subsidiary uh, of the company, the, the, you know, 100% of the company? And there are going to be instances where we will acquire 100% of the company. Uh, it just depends on, on the companies, the present ownership and management, you know, what their future goals would be. Uh, at present, we've taken a small interest because the companies we're looking at have a good, strong management group. They're not trying to get out of the business. They're just trying to, to realize some growth. And we're not out there to take their company from them. We're there to help them, uh, which in turn is going to benefit our shareholders and, and Davis itself. Absolutely. You know, my guest today has been Keith Alexander. He is the CEO of Nevis Capital Corporation. Ticker, ticker symbol OCEE -E, on the pink sheets. Uh, also, I wanted to ask about how does two, six, you know, year 2016 looks for your, your, your company and your journey? If you could give us maybe uh, an enlightenment of where you guys are at and where you guys are going forward here in the next three to four quarters. Well, the last couple of years have been kind of trying for us, trying to get our foundation down, trying to get a few items put in place, and I know there's been some people probably get discouraged, but I can say stick with us. We've got uh, several good potential acquisitions on the table, uh, you know, some that we're going to end up for all the company. Some of them will still just have a small piece of it, but I think, as my dad once told me, he asked if I wanted 100% of nothing or if I'd want a little bit of a whole lot, and I think the concept is that uh, we'll take a little bit of a whole lot of companies. And I think this next year, we'll see the investments increase in these companies. And also, we'll have some companies that will start generating us some pretty good revenue into Nevis itself. So I think that probably within the next 60 to 90 days, you'll see some good positive movement. In 12 months, uh, I don't think you'll recognize the company from where it is today. My guest today is Keith Alexander. He is the CEO and chairman of the board of Nevis Capital Corporation, ticker symbol OCEE. -E. And their website is nevis-capital-corporation.com. In closing, Keith, is there anything that we haven't talked about that you would like to get out uh, to our listeners in closing here? I can't think of anything. Like I said, we've got some very good opportunities coming up. I'd like for people to jump on board and ride with us uh, for a while to see what we can do. Uh, I think in the long run, it'll be a good investment for people. And I think that the company itself is going to be take its mark in the, on the boards to where everybody will take note of us. 
Outstanding. Keith, thank you very much for coming on the show. And we will definitely check back to see where you guys are at in about two or three months from now. Kevin, I thank you and your listeners for taking time to listen to me. And if I can ever be of assistance, please feel free to call me. All right. Thanks, Keith. Thank you.